bone angled hearing aid or VAHA. This is important for your theory exams. Can be asked in OSCEs. Parts can be asked to identify in OSCE. Their indication. And also this is important in your clinical practice also. So this BAHA is a registered trademark system of uh, bone conduction hearing aid system which is currently or mostly manufactured by Cochlear. So today we will discuss uh, what is BAHA, how it is uh, differs from bone conventional bone conduction hearing aid system, then indication, contraindications, eligibility of usage and also the procedure of implantation and also the complications. In case of bone conduction hearing loss, this part is not working. So the hearing can be gained by if the uh, cochlea is vibrated by the vibration of the skull bone. Is it so? So in a conventional bone conduction hearing aid, a transducer is kept pressed to the this part. To the skin of the uh, temporal bone by means of an either by using a headband or using the temples of a spectacle in here okay so this will this transducer will continuously press against the uh, skull bone and this will cause vibration and these vibrations are transmitted like this and it will, it will be transmitted to the cochlea and the uh, hair will be attenuated and can, the patient can hear. That is how a conventional bone condition hearing aid works. But it can, the, there are so many disadvantages. The one is speech recognition is affected. Why? Because this is bone, temporal bone and here there is a layer of skin and soft tissue. Is it so? So, in between the uh, transducer and the skull bone, there is a layer of skin and soft tissue. So, this will hamper the sound recognition of the patient. That is one thing. Second, poor aesthetics. Always putting a headband or using a spectacles with the um, transducer attached. So, poor aesthetics. And this is highly irritating because there is continuous vibration. And also the this is pressing on the skin of the temporal lobe, temporal bone area. So highly irritating also. So sound recognition is hampered. Then irritation will will be there, and also poor aesthetics. And even if it is uh, um, change in position, can cause a uh, difficulty in sound recognition also. So in Sweden, Brainmark found out that if a titanium screw, okay. If a titanium screw is inserted uh, into the temporal bone and left undisturbed, the osteocytes will grow into the uh, titanium surface and in a, an anchorage will be provided without any connective tissue in between. So that is called osseo integration. And this is the principle of Baha, bone angled hearing aid. Okay. Conventional bone conduction hearing aid. This uses a steel spring headband uh, with a vibration transducer against the skull. Or this can be attached with a frame of glasses. Or on a wire headband. Or this transducer can be attached to an adhesive attached to the non-hair bearing skin on the posterior surface uh, posterior to the pinna on the lateral surface of the temporal bone whatever the, it, uh, the method they transmit sound vibration to the skull that, that is the sound is ta uh, taken up by the processor and it is uh, transmitted as vibra mechanical vibrations to the skull and that is continuously pressed against the skin of the tem uh, temporal bone and this causes a vibration of the cochlea and but in a baha there is an external percutaneous sound processor or a transducer and this is attached to the fixture by means of a skin penetrating abutment 
and this device bypasses the middle layer and uh, also the skin and also the subcutaneous tissue it directly stimulates the cochlea and this titanium implant is expected to last lifelong and the external sound processor is expected to last for at least 5 years so the main advantage is that this there is no intervening skin and uh, subcutaneous tissue so this will directly pass the sound vibrations will directly pass through the skull bone and it will vibrate the cochlea so the uh, sound recognition will be much better and also this ear we are not using any ear mold in the external auditory canal so there is no uh, moisture formation in the external auditory canal there is no irritation of the skin of the external auditory canal and it can be used even if this external auditory canal is not there as in cases of canal atresia canal stenosis okay so the main advantage is that there is no intervening skin and soft tissue in between it will directly uh, vibrate the skull bone and also it will pass to the uh, cochlea so the dampening effect in bit by the skin and soft tissue is not there so the sound recognition is much better so the quality of the sound and also quality of the life will be much better in case of bone anchor hearing aid now what are the indications these are the indications one bilateral canal attrition this uh, external artery canal is not there or it is stenosed or there is uh, congenital anomalies of the middle ear external ear and middle ear okay so that is one then chronic discharging ear as in a case of chronically discharging chronic otitis media if we keep an ear mold here this discharge will cause uh, will damage the ear mold in that cases we can use a baha and also unilateral profound sensory neural hearing loss in that case the head shadow effect is eliminated okay by eliminating the head shadow effect okay and the conditions which causes a uh, conductive hearing loss with syndromic affections with the conductive hearing loss are stretcher collins syndrome down syndrome and golden heart syndrome in which the baha can be very effectively used and there are some criteria to be met for implantation of baha who are eligible for a baha one the patient should have adequate sensory neural reserve that means bone curve should be at least 45 db okay so sensory neural component should be adequate this part okay sensory neural part will should be adequate then unaided speech discrimination score should be greater than or equal to 60 percentage so adequate sn reserve and also unaided speech discrimination score should be greater than or equal to 60 percentage these candidates are eligible for doing a so in the surgical technique this can be done under uh, this is usually done in an op basis this can be done under local anesthesia or general anesthesia in adult we go with a local anesthesia and in children this can be done under general anesthesia and this can be done as a first single stage procedure or a two stage procedure okay then a skin flap that is uh, posterior superior to the uh, external auditory canal <coughs> a skin flap is made around uh, uh, 2.5 cm to 1 mm skin flap is made and periosteum is, skin flap is elevated with an intact periosteum okay then a hole is drilled in the periosteum and to that the titanium screw is fitted so that the titanium screw will be here okay and if it is a single stage procedure to the titanium screw a titanium abutment is attached using a gold, golden screw or a uh, titanium screw so to this we this is if this is a screw an abutment will be kept to that 
this is will be the abutment okay and after 6 to 10 weeks this is the time for osseo integration to take place after that the transducer is attached to this so the transducer will be here okay so in this uh, if it is in the single stage anyway the transducer is kept uh, after attachment of the transducer it should be after 6 to 10 weeks because that is a time for an osseo integration for the titanium screw and if you are doing as a uh, two stage procedure this titanium abutment as well as the transducer is uh, put uh, in sec uh, different stages so up to this doing this a mastoid dressing is given and under very sterile uh, precautions the patient can be sent home and uh, uh, advised to review after 6 to 10 weeks for attachment of the transducers okay so here this will directly uh, vibrate the skull bone and then it will go and vibrate the cochlea also okay so this is a surgical procedure of doing a bone anchored hearing aid so complications can happen there are some um, immediate complications and delayed complications complications of surgery occurs more in children Interoperatively, there can be CSF leak, sigmoid sinus injury and bleeding. And the main delayed complications, one is crusting, inflammation around the peg and also granulation tissue formation. And uh, the three most commonly or widely used uh, brands are Baha Classic SC300, which is an ear level bone. Then Baha Combat and Baha Cordelli and the uh, Baha Cordel is very strong device it's a stronger device than the other two okay but this is uh, a bit costly but uh, the advantages and the sound recognition and uh, and also the convenience of the patient is much better than any other bone conduction or conventional bone conduction hearing aid devices